I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand the concept of dependent events. So we are taking up examples related to probability without replacement. So let's consider a bag and in this bag we'll consider few colored balls. So let me take up uh, three red balls just we'll keep it simple. So let's say there are three red balls randomly placed in this bag and there are four blue balls let's make four blue balls all are of the same shape and size right? so three red four blue all same size okay now we need to find probability of drawing two red balls for example right so let's say we need to find what is the probability of drawing two red balls without replacement so let me make a question here so we say find probability to draw or pick you can use uh, to draw two red balls and we are considering without replacement let's first understand what it means without replacement let us say I just randomly pick up a ball from here what is the probability of getting the first red ball so let me write this as P probability of getting R1 that is first red ball now here we have uh, red balls are 3 blue balls are 4 so total number of balls let's say n is 3 plus 4 7 correct probability of picking a red ball is 3 out of 7 right is 3 out of 7 now if I remove the ball from here right so the case will be let's say we picked up a red ball and now what happens in that case we'll remove one ball so let's say we have picked one so we are left with uh, uh, two red balls now correct not three since we have already picked up one right so so the scenario is kind of like this so we have uh, that kind of a scenario right so in this case we have to now pick up the next red ball so now since the number of balls have decreased probability has changed right so it is not the same as it was earlier since the probability has changed we call this as a dependent event it really depends on what happened in the previous event right so that is where we come up with the concept of dependent event if you replace the ball let's say we pick up a red ball and replace it then we have exactly the similar situation and picking up the next ball will also have the same probability so it will not be dependent on the previous one since we replaced now without replacement what happens the sample space changes n is no more 7 it is 6 and therefore probability changes now in this case since we picked up red ball we are left with only two red balls and still four blue balls now what is the probability of picking up the second red ball so probability of picking up the second red ball is two out of six right two out of six you see both are different now what is the probability of picking two red balls we say two red balls without replacement without replacement is product of these two right it is equals to 3 over 7 times 2 over 6 right so that becomes we can simplify this it is 1 over 7 right 3 times 2 is 6 that cancels so we get 1 over 7 so probability of picking up two red balls is 
1 over 7. Do you see that? So that is how the scenario changes. You could also do this with the help of a tree diagram. So let me make one tree diagram and show you what really happens. So let's begin with the picking up the ball. And let us say, when you pick a ball, it could be either a red ball or a blue ball, right? So, so we can draw a tree diagram. So let me say, we pick up a red ball to start with. So if you pick a red ball, in that case, what is the probability of picking a red ball? Probability of picking a red ball is, as you saw here, 3 over 7. So let me write this as, I mean, 3 over 7. So that is initially the case. Probability of picking a blue ball in this case will be, since there are 4 blue balls, 4 over 7, right? 4 over 7. So we have done the first operation, that is we have picked a ball and we know probability of picking a red ball is 3 out of 7. Now let us say we have already picked a red ball, right? So, so we will go like this. We have already picked a red ball whose probability is 3 over 7. Now to pick the next red ball, what happens? Since we picked one of the red balls, we are left with only two here, right? So, and the total number has decreased from seven to six. So probability of picking the second ball, second red ball will be two out of six. And now to get the probability of both to happen, we need to multiply them, right? So, so what we are seeing here is probability of two reds will be, you need to multiply them. So that is, you get 3 over 7 times 2 over 6. Exactly what we wrote earlier. So a tree diagram can help you get the solution also, right? So that could be the solution for the given case, right? Now, let me give you another question. You can continue with the tree diagram and also do with logic to find this time probability of picking First, a red ball, if I write R1, first a red ball, and then picking a green ball. So then the second ball is green. So when I write R1, that means first ball picked is red. The second one is green, and we are doing without replacement. Since we are not replacing the picked ball, it is a case of dependent events, right? It's a case of dependent events where the sample space changes and therefore probability of each consecutive event or the event which follows changes right so now you can actually build on this list first red second green right so in this case what we are saying here is first red and second we want green right so i'm sorry we are using blue so let me change this to blue okay second blue okay so second blue so here what should be the probability of blue so you have to look into this urn right this group of balls here four out of six do you see that four out of six and that should help you to get the answer right so you're looking for this probability first red and then then blue correct so that is the case correct so if that is the case, find the probability. Let this be an exercise for you. But I hope with this example, you understand the basic concept of dependent events. Events are dependent when the first event affects the following event, Okay, as it does in this particular case. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.